plug over here. This little thing over here, yeah, it's just a normal Phillips screw, so it's just uh, get the screwdriver and pop that one right out. And uh, yeah, let's do that quick. See it's deplated by Mercedes Benz, and yeah, just make sure it's the correct coolant for your vehicle. Or just go straight to the car's manufacturing agent and then buy it. So now that, if, that you've filled up your reservoir with your 50-50 uh, coolant and distilled water mix, you are going to close the reservoir cap and you can fill it up to the brim because the levels are going to decrease, tighten it up and then you are going to open your bleeding screw. So you can just uh, take a flathead Phillips screw, put it in, and now you can start unscrewing it. Now that the screw is out, we can begin the process. So, let me just get the light onto there. You can see screws out and now we are going to start the car and put the heater on full so that the heat so that the water can just run through the heat core pipes and just run through the system. Okay, that's it. Okay, so the car is idling. So we are going to just turn on the heat, put the heat on full. the car for a bit and obviously the water got or the coolant got sucked in by the thermostat and the water pump and the works so we're just gonna top up the 
you will see bubbles exiting the bleeding screw um, and then you just want to let the motor running with the heater on so the heat ball can pull water through and then when the bubbles stop you know all the air are basically out of the system and then you can put the bleeding screw back in and enjoy, enjoy your car and then just the following morning when you get back to the car and the car is high full just um, unscrew the um, radiator reservoir tank and just check your radiator fluid levels because it may have um, decreased a bit. Yeah.